Hey guys, out here on the Colorado Trail, just wanted to make a quick video for you going over all the clothing that I brought and I'm gonna be wearing this week out here. Okay, so stuff that I'm pretty much wearing on the trail, I'm gonna start with shoes. These are the Hoka Torrents. Uh, I usually like run in the Hoka Speedgoat 4s, which are a lot more padding. These are a little bit harder sole. Uh, good foot box room, so I like these ones better uh, for hiking per se. Uh, socks, I have three pair of smart wool, just small socks like this. Uh, shorts, I have these Asics running shorts. These are a, a five inch inseam, and I also have some frog tog pants that I cut down into shorts. So that's basically so if it gets wet or if these get wet, I can have a dry pair. Um, they're they're waterproof, but I mean if it starts raining, I might not change out of them, but I'll at least have. Uh, dry ones for around camp. Uh, underwear just like Puma synthetic. Um, my shirt, this is actually supplied by Scott here from Endeavor that's on the trip with us. Uh, this is a Patagonia, what's it called? Capoline. Capoline, I totally forgot already. You can see he's got his brewery logo uh, on there in the front. If you're in Columbus, go go uh, check him out. But yeah, I, uh, I got a sun hoodie for this trip and I was kind of disappointed with it and Scott had a few of these so he let me borrow it for the week to see if I liked it. For a camp I have these uh, fleece pants. Um, I might be wearing these actually tomorrow on the trail because we're gonna go through like crazy mosquito territory so I might throw these on but they, uh, it drops pretty cold here in Colorado so gotta have the fleece pants. Uh, I also have my mountain hardware Ghost Whisper puffy jacket, which comes with me everywhere. Um, I have a bug net, a head net for mosquitoes. I also have a t-shirt, which I probably, probably really didn't even need. It's not really humid out here, so we're hiking in long sleeves is okay. So uh, probably could have left this one at home. I got some gaiters that I kind of, some days I wear, some days I don't. Uh, rain gear, I have a good like mountain hardware prestige rain jacket it's discontinued but it keeps me really really dry i got some dollar general like 98 cent flip-flops which are like super light these are like my go-to camp shoe i also have uh north face uh gloves for the mornings gets a little chilly out here and i got uh like some like steel nitrile uh gloves to put over these if uh if it gets really wet and really cold but other than a pair of sunglasses and a little hyper light hat, that's pretty much all the clothing that I have in this trip. Oh, and I also have my uh, little Mont Bell wind shirt here. So I might be throwing this on tomorrow during the mosquito hell. So we'll see if I even use this this trip. Well, that's pretty much it for all the clothing. Uh, make sure you guys check out this trip video. It's gonna be the next video I post after this. Uh, I'm gonna link it up top here. And uh, yeah, subscribe down below if you're not already, if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. And yeah, that'll do it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Penis. <laughs> I'm leaving it. <laughs> I'm leaving it. <laughs> AMS, acute mountain sickness. First level of altitude sickness. This is no joke, the hardest day of hiking I've had in years. Woo!